Hi guys, let's have our discussion about this item. So welcome po sa Hugot Sip Nine. Ito nga po pala sa Sir JV. And let's have our discussion about geometric mean. So ang ating objective for this video is to find common ratio and also guys to find next to term or by identifying kung ano ba yung term base dun sa number of terms na hinahanap natin. Okay? This will be part of grade 10, first quarter. Let's have our discussion. Now, if we're going to look forward with what geometric sequence is, so basically, sabi ko nga sa inyo, yun si arithmetic sequence, meron tayong arithmetic sequence, meron tayong common difference. Sa geometric sequence, meron tayong geometric sequence and we have common ratio. Ibig sabihin ito guys, yung sequence ng number na kung saan we're looking for a number by which we multiply them doon na yung pinakasimulang number at guys, na-continue siya for the next item. Kaya po medyo malalaking number in terms of geometric sequence. So the quotient between two consecutive terms are said to be the common ratio. So by dividing the previous term by the first term or the, the, previous, the third term, the second term, o yung mga previous term natin guys, we're going to determine what is the common ratio of those items. So tara guys, let's have some example. So for our general term, if we're looking for geometric sequence guys, ito yung ating formula. A sub n is equal to A sub 1, R n minus 1. So yung A sub n, yung, nang, yung n term natin, base dun sa kanyang position, doon sa ating sequence. So A sub 1 will always be the first term, R is the common ratio, while n minus 1 is the number of terms. Now, we we're looking for. So, hanapin guys natin technically, yung term base dun sa number of terms na hinahanap natin. So, how are we going to find them? Siyempre, we're, look, we're going to look first with the common ratio. After noon, substitute natin yung value nung R, nung N, yung ating number of terms, yung first term, para makuha natin guys, yung hinahanap natin na number. So let's have our first example. So for the first example natin guys, we're going to find the 10th term of a geometric sequence 2, 6, 18, and 54. So basically guys, we're going to look for the common ratio of the geometric sequence. So definitely, 2 divided by, 6 divided by 2 is 3, 18 divided by 6 is 3, 54 divided by 18 is 3. Definitely, the ratio is 3. So, ibig sabihin, ang first term natin ay 2. Kaya meron tayong 2 doon. Tapos, ang ating looking for 10 term. Kaya ang n natin ay 10. So, by substituting guys the formula, so first term, syempre to, kaya po siya naging 2. Ang r natin ay yung common ratio, which is 3. Yung n natin ay yung 10 term, kaya po 10 minus 1. So, ito ay mag siya magiging natin siyang, uh, from a sub n, may siyang a sub 10. Kasi nga po, we're looking for the 10th term. So after solving guys, so may isang a sub 10 equals to 2 times quantity 3 raised to the 9th power. So ang 3 raised to the 9th power is 19,683 times 2 definitely that is 339,366. So ibig by just applying the given item or given things na hinahanap natin, madali natin masagutan kung ano ba yung hinahanap natin na sa sequence, okay? So, basically, dito ka lang, guys. So, unang hanapin nyo, guys, ay yung ratio, which is R. So, divide nyo lang to doon, divide nyo lang to doon, divide nyo lang to. Nakuha nyo yung common na 3, yun po yung R natin. Yung N naman, guys, syempre, yung 10th term. Yung A sub 1, first term. So, yun lang naman kailangan nyo alalahan, eh. Substitute lang, then may sagot na kayo, okay? Let's have number 2 example. How about for 384, 192? 96 and 48. So, ano ba yung common ratio natin? So, definitely by dividing each one of them, guys, so we're going to have ratio as one half. So, ito, pag dinivide mo doon, syempre, one half. Ito, dinivide mo doon, one half. Ito, dinivide mo doon, one half. Laging pabalik. Pabalik ang pag-divide din nyo. And therefore, we're going to have the ratio of one half. So, by applying to the equation, sinong first term natin, 384, hindi siya makapunta. Ratio natin is one half. So, we're looking for the 8th term, kaya po 8 ito. So, simplifying, that will become 1 half raised to 7. That is 1 over 128 times 384. So, numerator by numerator, denominator by denominator, kaya po siya magiging 
100, uh, 384 divided by 1, 2, 8, or A. To the, A sub 8 is equal to 3. So, simplify na yun, guys. Napaka, napaka simple pag simplify na yan. So, minadali na dito. So, definitely, ang, ang ating 8 term is 3. And that's how we try to solve them. So, ganun lang gagawin natin, guys. So, hanap si R, hanap si N, hanap si first term. So, definitely substitute, solve, then may sagot ka na. Okay? So, guys, ganun kasimple, guys, ang paraan para malaman natin kung ano ba yung mga term natin. We're looking for the uh, term natin base doon sa N niya by using the equation A sub N is equal to A sub 1, R, N minus 1. Ngayon guys, we're going to determine whether you understand our discussion by answering these five item ways. So we're looking for the first term, syempre yung ating 10th term. So number 2 is 9th, number 3 is 30th, number 4 is 7th, and number 5 is 8th term. So kailangan guys natin isolve to basin sa equation natin para mas manilaan natin whether you understand our discussion or not. So five minutes start now.
Guys, time's up. Let's try to solve this item. So, after solving, ito guys yung magiging sagot natin. So, medyo bilisan lang natin. Now, what you're going to do is just you're going to uh, compare answer guys para ma-check ninyo kung tama ba yung sagot ninyo after the solution dito. So, ito yung paraan guys para malaman nyo whether you have done something uh, very similar with our answer today or not. So, I hope guys nakatama kayo ng limang item on those items para masabi natin that you really understand our discussion for the day. And I hope you learn our lesson which is part of arithmetic mean part 1. So, mamaya po ang part 2, upload pa rin natin. And marami, marami po salamat sa pagbisita sa channel. So, next part natin guys, ay, alamin na natin talaga kung what is arithmetic mean. So, ingat po, God bless, and see you again guys for our next video. Ingat po!